Allah gives you what you deserve and that is a day to rejoice and a day of happiness. No matter what problems you and I may be going through in our personal lives, whether there has been loss of lives in our own families amongst us, whether there is oppression that's happening across the globe like we witness at the moment in Palestine, in many other countries, there is an instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the midst of all of that you must take the time to declare the greatness of Allah and to rejoice at the fact that Allah allowed you to worship him through a season of worship in this case Eid al-Fitr the season of worship is the month of Ramadan so the happiness and the rejoicing is about what it is about the fact that I was given an instruction by Allah to worship him dedicatedly through the month and I worshiped him through the month. So I am thanking Allah. قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say that it is the virtue of Allah and his mercy that should actually make you rejoice. That's what you should be happy about. It is better than what they amass in terms of material wealth of this world. People get excited when they have a good business deal. People get excited when they've earned, when they found a job. People get excited when something good happens on earth. You have a new car, you have a conveyance, whatever else it may be. Yes, there is a type of excitement as a human being, but Allah says the true excitement should be when you have earned the mercy of Allah and when you have earned his virtue and favor.